Hey everyone, welcome to my new video on how to make a Homer Polar motor. I basically muck around with magnets on my channel anyway, so I figured we might as well try and teach the YouTubers um, how to do stuff. So you'll need three things ba basically, um, some magnets, neodymium magnets, a battery, and basically just some um, copper wire. Now with the copper wire, I recommend a thicker gauge. Um, I probably use a bit over a millimeter. Um, I think 16, 18 gauge should be okay. I've also got a blog post on how to make a Homer Polar motor in the description. So if you want to know about where to buy the neodymium magnets, how to source the copper wire, feel free to click on that link. And um, I explain a bit more how Homer Polar motors work as well and the electromagnetism behind them. Basically, you can see in the background we've got the. I've made some sort of already pre-formatted wire cutouts for the neodymium. Um, Homer polar motor. Right now, I'm just demonstrating you to you guys how to actually bend the wire. I recommend some needle nose pliers. You don't need them, but you might save your fingers some pain and soreness if you actually use them. So, a big tip here when you actually make your design is to keep as much of the mass of the wire in the center of the actual thing as possible. So, see how I'm constantly balancing my design on the on the battery. That's what you have to do, otherwise it won't really work. But this was a fail anyway, it was too short. As you can see, the wire is actually rotating around the battery um, and it worked pretty successfully. So here is another design I made which is pretty extravagant. I just spammed together all the magnets that I had pretty much and um, just you made, it, made a sort of art piece out of magnets and made a nice home polar motor. If anyone's actually curious, those two massive cubes are one inch cubes of neodymium, I think N50. They're extremely strong. You can't I can't even separate them with my hands. You need a you need some wood. But they're also in the link if you want to get some. Here's a preview of the motors that I'm about to uh, show you guys. Here's just four at the same time, so you can have a nice little preview of what's what's just after them. But yeah, the first design is basically the butterfly design, I call it the butterfly design because it sort of looks like a butterfly if you squint your eyes and sort of pretend but this one works really well if you actually, like I said before get the center of mass above the bat or in the sort of line of the axis of rotation and you can get some really nice high speeds this second design is basically just a, a rectangle, nothing that complicated it's actually quite hard to shape it in to get it as symmetric as you need. Um, so it might take you a few goes to get it right, but this one spins pretty quickly as well. This third one is a random sort of off-center thing that works really well, but it sort of shakes the battery too much, and it's a bit of a fail, I think. Yep, there you go. And the fourth one is just a little sort of tubular thing it sort of fails as well. You can't always get the designs right, but you know, at least you try. Uh, with trial and error, you can really get some high speeds going, and it's fun to watch. This is the worst design out of the bunch, but you know, I've got lots of copper wire. I don't really care. Another tip: get one of these tools if you ever need to cut copper wire. It is it is so great. Like, look at that. It just strips wire like nothing. I think I might add um, one to the link as well if you guys want to pick some up, but those wire strippers just are so convenient. You don't have to muck around with any crap. The reason I actually got them out was because I wanted to make a high um, rotation per minute RPM Homer polar motor. So this is what we're doing. That nail tip is really thin. So there's not that much friction and you can get lots of rotation um, at that bottom of the of the battery when you apply that um, current. So as you can see here, I actually inserted the cop the wire at the top in the magnets. And at the bottom I touch the magnets so this completes the circuit. And you can it's it might be a bit hard to make out on the camera, but those that nail and the neodymium magnets on the bottom side of the battery are spinning extremely fast. Here I've put a little bit of aluminium um, in there so you can actually see how fast it goes. And I did some calculations. I think uh, it takes about four frames to do a full rotation. 
at 240 frames per second, that comes out to 60 re revolutions per second, which is 3,600 RPM. That is some serious speed for, for a Homer Polar motor. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you like, share, and subscribe. And uh, see you next time.